Hey YouTube. So I had a few people ask me about this and wanted me to make a video. Um, to start off, I'm building a house out in the country and I did not want to burn propane in the middle of the summer to heat my domestic hot water. I figure I already have this big ball of sun, plenty of BTUs, why not use it when possible? So I wanted to find a efficient way to use solar power to make domestic hot water. Now Engineer 775 showed a product from Nile Products. It was a heat pump you could add to your domestic water tank. They don't make those anymore. Haven't figured out why. They just, you go online to look it up and they're just unlisted anymore. So. I made my own. I got a $65, $35, whatever it was, off of Craigslist window air conditioner. It was a 6000 BTU. It was a mechanical thermostat unit, so no digital thermostat to reset every time the power goes on and off. It's literally just an on and off switch. Come around to the back side here. The water comes in let's see, on this line right here, comes up to the valve, goes through a temperature gauge into what's called a coaxial heat exchanger. Same thing that you would see in the bottom of a geothermal unit. Uh, you have a refrigerant going through one tube and water going through the other tube. Then it comes back out through this valve and that gauge comes back down through this little circulator back out and back into the water tank so on the refrigerant side we basically we took out the coil that used to sit right here that would be sitting outside of your house we added a filter dryer and then added some service ports took out the exterior fan and then added this heat exchanger. When this thing is running, let's see. I don't know if you guys can see the gauge. Pulling about 4.1 amps total at 120 volts, which is very doable to do on solar. We estimated doing the math, I'm hooking into a 35 gallon water tank. So I should be in about six hours be able to recover that tank without any issues uh, if I were to completely drain it. Because so these temperatures are not accurate right now because the reason this was installed right now was my father's boiler system which heats domestic hot water had an issue and through a weird series of events we weren't able to get the part right away so I said hey let's temporarily plumb this in using PEX piping and shark bites and see if it works I was able to get them hot water for a couple of days so at least we're not taking cold showers I do have a case for the outside, make it all dressed up nice, go into a mountain outlet on this side to run the circulator, and we have a, uh, a way to deliver more heat to this unit uh, once it's installed in the apartment. Here in this application, we had to spend a space heater right in front of the unit because it was getting down to about 50 degrees in this room at night. Uh, there just wasn't enough heat to pull out of the air for this thing. It was icing up the front coil. Uh, we were able to get the water up to 125 degrees. Uh, it did take about 10 hours initially, but we were heating a 60 gallon water tank with it. So, I figure uh, I had $35, I believe for the window unit it was about 120 for the coaxial heat exchanger and then miscellaneous copper fittings 
so well under $300, I was able to make a heat pump to heat the my domestic hot water. Uh, the Nile Solutions heat pumps, they were running at about $2,000. Thought that was kind of steep. Put our heads together, we were able to come up with this. I will shoot another video when it is actually installed in the apartment and within the operating parameters. Thanks.